I mentioned Shukur Day. Uh, and you said there was a Sobat of Sheikh and you also men mentioning the importance of shukr. But it seems that it's very easy to not be in shukr, very easy to see the cup as half full or half no, it's not. Than half full. No, it's not. You mix around with people who are not giving shukr, it's very easy. If you're around people who always give shukr, it's impossible. The man's religion is according to the religion of his friends. This is what I mean. You need to have holy people around, holy people underground, holy people above the ground. You understand? Hmm. We're filled, we're surrounded by greedy people in our own families. Greedy, selfish. Always running after the world. Big importance to the world. Yeah, I mean, it's important to survive, but big importance now. If you say it is big, this dunya, you must make ahirat to be bigger. Well, there is no balance. There is no satisfaction if you're running after the world. You get one mountain of gold, you're going to say, I want another mountain. The believer, if he gets one plate of food, he says shukur and he shares it. Because this is a state of the heart, you understand? The heart always wants to give. The heart, when it sees something there, someone there that needs it, and you have, you give. The state of the heart is, even if you don't have, it's not enough, you give. So, then watch, who are you surrounding with? Watch. Huh. You have to be aware of the people around you. You have to be aware, whose voices are inside my head? Look, oh, I should do this, I shouldn't do this. Whose voice? Who's telling you that? Oh, my father says this too much to me. Oh, my mother. Oh, my teachers. My boss. Television, this, that. Then where is the voice of Allah? Where is the voice of your Prophet? Where is the voice of your Shaykh? We don't have that around us, right? People who is giving shukur, right? We don't. In America especially, you go to the masjid. Everyone is a capitalist. They go to masjid also, they worship Allah like a capitalist businessman. I do this much, I should get this much. You don't see, as we see in Muslim countries, it's not only in Turkey, it's a lot of Muslim countries, although this is getting less and less. People who are there, old people, saintly people, they are there just to ask Allah for forgiveness, crying all the time, worshipping, because they want to be there. Because they want to disappear into that ocean of being a servant. You rarely see that Western countries because they fill the heart with so much selfishness and proud, pride and arrogance. They go to masjid to get something. You understand? The Wahhabi poison has spread everywhere now. But to just to sit and to thank your Lord, just to sit and to ask forgiveness from your Lord sincerely, it's not there. Not there. So look to see. You cannot have good people around you. Make sure the people inside of you they're good. If they're not good, put it aside. Make sure the voice of your Shaykh, the voice of the Holy Ones, is louder than your own voice or your own opinion. This is for people of Tariqat. If you're not in Tariqat, you can do whatever you want. If you're in Tariqat, you cannot do whatever you want. You cannot. In reality, you can never do whatever you want anyway. <laughs> We're only saying that. You say America is land of the free, no? Home of the brave. Really? You can do anything you want. Try not paying the taxes. Oh. 
forget about taxes, tried running a red light, and when the police comes, run away from him and say, I do as I like. So much laws. So understand that there is a law. Yeah, so you mix around with people who are not grateful. People who are not grateful, what do they do? Ha! Huh? What's that, Mesut? They complain. They complain. Some of you complain too much. Because uh, you're brought up by your father, mother, they always complain. Grandfather, grandmother always complain. When they sit down, they say, how are you? They say, oh, my day is like this. They start complaining. That is their way of talking. You understand to complain. You know people who are like that. We are like that sometimes, always complaining. Eh, complain, complain, complain. Say, eh, alhamdulillah. Complain, 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 complain. 70 words complaining. One word, alhamdulillah. Mashallah. We have to stop this. <laughs> you understand? One American movie for kids. Not too good movie anyway, but some words they have nice. They say, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Hmm? You have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Complaining always. Sounds familiar? Even if it's just joking, eh, you cannot, there's no other jokes to make other than complaining. Why is that? Ha, huh? because you complain, you'll never make shukur. Now you need to go through the scrubber. They took away that in this country also. Yeah. Very, very poor people. Muslim countries, other countries, you open your door, you see them in front of you. You can take lesson or you can ignore, but it is there, correct? It is there. They take away all of that in this country. So, you always think that you have less. Or you always think, what? You deserve more. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> In Tariqat, if you do that, prepare to get a smack. Then, if they take everything away from you, that time they give a little bit back to you, you say shukur alhamdulillah, then you know the state of shukur there. So, for some it is just a habit. In their hearts, I know they're not. But don't let that to go inside your heart. You understand? It's showing everything is opposite. They're giving, they're generous, they do other things, they help. But it's just their way of talking. Where if it's not in your heart, if it's just on your tongue, it's so easy to change. Correct? Then you should change it. Yeah. Then you'll become even more beautiful that time. And then you can carry your names. Otherwise, those ones will complain also. They're carrying my name, they behave like this. Understand? Okay. Start from Fatiha.